Hey, what's up? It's Kyo Ram, and welcome back to another Dantos video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out this new uh, Radiant uh, Old Cronover Sword build. So yeah, before we go right into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me a lot, and you can always subscribe later. Also, a large portion of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so if you do, I'd really appreciate it. Also, click the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And now, with all that being said, let's get right into the build. First of all, for the Omnicell, it's going to be the Arctic Pistol Omnicell, which is the new Omnicell. Or, or you can also use the uh, Discipline Omnicell as well. For the weapon, it's Age of Tomorrow. It has plus 3 overpower, plus 3 pulse, specialist Avenging Overdrive, of course. The mod is Recursive Build, and the bond is Call of Dawn, which has plus 3 cunning. For the Lantern, it's Trask Sai, with plus 3 Catalyst. For the Helmet, it's Dark Watch, with plus 3 8 Hunter. For the uh, Torso, it's Milker and Soul, with, with plus 3 Pulse. For the Gauntlet, it's Milker and Squasp, with plus 3 Predator. For the Legs, it's Time and Leggings, with plus 3 Overpower. And all in all, it came down to this uh, combination right here. Uh, plus 6 8 Hunter is plus 50% damage versus, versus 8 Recharged Behemoth. Plus 6 Catalyst is plus 60% Tonic Effectiveness and plus 60% Tonic Duration. For the Cunning, it's plus 10% Critical Strike Chance and plus 30% Critical Strike Damage. For the Overpower, it's plus 40% Damage versus Staggered Behemoth. Predator is after not taking hostile damage for 15 seconds, still plus 35% damage and bonus loss to a hit. And lastly, for the Pulse, it's every 5th hit with your weapon is a Critical Strike and it has plus 15% Critical Strike Damage. Okay, now let's go into some kind of Hunt Grounds and uh, test, test this build out.
Sims was built. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.